By the gods, this is a good start. Where did these people set up their tent? <sighs> if there's nothing around the next bend, I'm turning around. Finally. Hey you, little girl. Giacomo Nauta sent me. I'm here about the riddle. Um, do you speak Goretti? I'm a friend. Giacomo told you I would come. He spoke of the hero of Andergast, a strong, courageous and clever man. Not someone I could slice open from head to foot in the blink of an eye. I am the hero of Andergast. Can you do magic? Heal things with fairy magic? The way the hero healed the dreams of an Andergastrian was magic? It wasn't quite like that, but yes. I can repair things magically. Then prove it. This before me is the flying fortress Kishal Reen. I recreated it from my dreams. But no matter what I do, it keeps tipping over. Use your magic to make it stand up, and I'll let you see my father. Piece of cake. A small fortress made of sticks. It keeps tipping over. Use your magic to make it stand. No magic necessary here. Hmm. I'm not going to destroy this. It belongs... Watch and learn. Learn that you have a big mouth? The fortress isn't broken, it's just badly made. Don't make excuses. Use your magic to make it stand up, and I'll let you see my father. All right, all right, I have my own knife. What are you doing? Don't worry, I just want to try something. It's nothing I can use. Oh! May I go in now? Papa, there's someone here claiming to be a hero. Send him in. If you truly are the hero, then you're a bit boring. You remind me more of a stupid, grumpy peasant. I'm a bird catcher, and I no longer care what others think of me. I rescued a fairy, and I freed a kingdom. I don't have to prove anything to anyone. All right, all right, go in. But watch your back, I'm right behind you. Ah, Geron, how nice. Come, sit. Sit. Are you Fahi? Yes, sit down. Did you find this place all right? Yeah, yeah. I was told that you sell a spell that can permanently change a person's form. A person's? Or an animal's? But everything in its time. Tea? All right. Ah, a man of taste. That's good. Andergast is cold, is it not? It's all right. But about that spell... Of course. 
you understand that permanent physical transformation is a formidable power. It demands a great deal of courage to request such power. I have my reasons. I know. Giacomo told me as much. You know my price. Giacomo said something about a riddle. Correct. You like riddles, Geron, don't you? As long as they can be solved. Don't worry. You'll carry it with you for a while, twist it and turn it in your mind, and perhaps even despair briefly. But when you finally solve it, the reward will be much sweeter. Where did you get this riddle anyway? For more than three moons, my daughter and I have both had the same dream every night. It's even more wondrous that this dream tells a true story. A memory from a time 450 years ago, when our world faced its greatest battle. I will now tell you the beginning of the dream. You don't need to know more. And then, the riddle. If you can solve it, you'll receive the power to restore your beloved. And if not? Garon, you are the hero of Andergast. Of course you'll solve it. So, are you ready? I'm ready. Good. The dream begins, as I said, 450 years ago, in an ancient vault far beneath my home city of Fazar. The powers of darkness threaten the land, and the great and decisive battle is imminent. When one night, a group of heroes enters the tomb of an ancient Mogul mage, Prepare yourselves. I shall open the burial chamber now. Are we all here? All here, for crying out loud. It could have been worse. Sure, we could have lost the mute Varkina too. Or the dainty princess who can't fight. <clears throat> Calm yourself, Shabib. You're not the only one whose nerves are frayed. Oh, I'm so sorry. Did the princess have to see a little blood? Did it break her tender heart? Yes. Crack. Now you'll have to endure me without one. Princess Zadja, Alric, we must stick together. The legendary mask of Malachar lies within this burial chamber. If we succeed in bringing it to the Holy Army in the Rashtulian Wall, the battle against the demons will be mere child's play. If we succeed, and these walls don't swallow us up first. I'm working as fast as I can. Uh, I can't find the lock. 
Give me a moment. It has to be here somewhere. Stay down. I hope that was the last. Stay away from the Guardians, Princess. Even their detached limbs still have some life in them. I don't see any connection. I feel a throbbing, and they're warm, like a sick heart. There are grooves here. Letters? Can you read them? No, they're just grooves, nothing more. I'm not touching that. It looks sticky and poisonous. It looks like blood. Why did the Furkina people cast you out? None of your business. True. Your past is your problem alone. All that counts is that you lead us safely through the mountains to the army. I just want my money, and soon. With the Almandine, it would be as if I were giving away my life. I would only do that if death was unavoidable. Better not. Mage? Princess? What's the problem? The lock is hidden. Some sort of secret mechanism. Whatever it may be, you have to open it. What did you call me before? Shabib. That's Tula Media for little boy. Without me, you'd be long dead. Please, no quarrels. She started it. Stay back. We don't know what else is hidden here. Now to get the key into the lock, and then the door will be open. Where do you see a lock? The door is covered in filth. What does a princess know about filth? Enough to know that it can be washed off. That's good news for you, isn't it? What are you trying to say? Shh. Silence, please. I need quiet. Do you have a death wish? You saw what kind of creatures are running around out there. If this is what the princesses in this country are like, I would hate to see the kings. Don't worry, you won't. The last caliph of Fazar was skinned alive five moons ago. Was he a tyrant? Yes, like every ruler in this city. Besides... What? Did you see the tattoo on her arm? I believe it's the mark of Malachar. She's a direct descendant. We brought the great, 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 great granddaughter of an accursed mogul mage monster into his burial chamber. Are you out of your mind? She's a good person, trust me, and we'll soon need her. The legacy of these hands held me prisoner my whole life. But today, I will finally free myself. Oh, Kasim, you'll regret what you've done to me. Can you hear me? I'm sorry about your broken legs. It's very lonesome down here. But one step closer, and we'll break your neck as well. It would take too long to get him down. We're running out of time. Excuse
obscured by his own torch. What an unworthy death. It's hanging just out of reach. Our rope. If only we had noticed the guardians from the other side. No, oh, just listen to yourself. Harun had to die. We all have to be prepared to die. That's the sacrifice we must make in order to rise above our miserable existence. Absolutely not. Stay down. I mustn't lose sight of my goal. I'd rather not. No, thank you, Princess. Better not. He's ignoring me. I can easily... I don't need it. Stand aside. Under no circumstances should you touch the door. Fine, then you'll have to do it. What do you think you're doing? There is no hidden mechanism. The door is just filthy. Brush it off and you'll find your lock. Hmm? Step back. The six legs open the six locks. By all twelve gods! This is going so well. Relax. I know you just want to help, but I can manage. We'll have to glue it. Stay back. We don't know. I'm trying to push the pieces of the beetle so they interlock. But it doesn't work. They won't stay in place. No. I cannot simply tie the key together. You're bleeding? I don't need a bandage. My battle fury makes the pain tolerable. Impressive. He's an agile fighter. Even if we have to smash the entire burial chamber, I will triumph. Who will see you down here? Who will worship you? Pay homage to you. Very soon, I'll be a thousand times greater than you ever were.
And unlike you, I won't end up in a dark hole. I don't deserve to return. You remind me of the palace guards I once knew. But unlike them, you were against me from the beginning and didn't stab me in the back later. Thanks, I suppose. If only I could pull it down somehow. I don't need a piece. I can't lose. I can't go back yet. My trials have opened. It was a good fight. Bastard. The legacy of these hands held me prison. But today, I- Oh, Kasim, you'll regret what you've done to me. The only way in or out is the door. Stay away from the Guardians, Princess. Even their detached limbs still have some life in them. Who pairs such a complicated lock with such a fragile key? I'm trying to push the pieces of the- They won't st- Why exactly did you choose us as companions? Who are you talking about in particular? What was Haroon's role? He was your personal bodyguard. Which he did. Right up until the end. I am sorry about him. He knew the risks. The important thing is that you're still alive. How did a mage like you come to lead a group such as this? I wanted to join the army in Punin when a nobleman from Fazar told me about the mask. The rest was a question of money and determination. Enough of that. What do we do next? We force our way into the burial chamber of the Mughal and steal the Mask of Malachar. Then we take it over the peaks of the Rashtulian Wall to the Holy Army before they march into battle. And there we triumph, or perish miserably. The future of this world is in our hands. Aren't you starting to get tired of prattling? He's right. We have to continue. Do you have no more questions? You don't talk much, do you? Correct. You don't talk much. Correct. Now the blade is sticky. Here, glue the leg with this.
It's ready. Do you see the glowing inscription, Ulrich? Ancient Tula media is a dead language spoken only by a very few. By even fewer, since the spiritual leaders of this city were executed together with their caliph. One must be educated to read this script. Educated, like a child from a noble family. Educated, like the last princess of Fazar. That's the reason we brought you. Now, tell me, what's the answer to the riddle on the chamber? The gods be with me. What? What do you read? I can't tell you. It would change too much. This is why we brought her? I don't understand. Princess? Princess, where are you? By the twelve, it's dark. I'm over here. Ah! Ow! Watch out for the beetle key when you leave. It's lying on the ground along with the door. If it breaks, we'll be locked in here. What's that smell? Alric, don't come in. There's gas in the air. Shine the torch carefully through the door, but stay outside and no magic. Astral energy could trigger a trap. Be careful where you set foot, princess. Difficult without light. If you know a way to make light without fire or magic, then tell me. That's not a way out. I should pick it up first. Fine, but I also need some... That should be enough. I'd rather not. Ow! I cut my hand. I'll take the incense stick and the bowl. By the... Is that it? Yes. Yes, that's it. The Mask of Malachar. With that, we will win the battle against the demons once and for all. Ayal! A guardian! Guard the door! If the beetle key is damaged, we'll be locked in here! <sighs> Come on then. Yella. Kill me. My life isn't worth much anyway. Weakling. He's buried beneath the Guardian. I might be able to free him with magic, but not with my bare hands. I can see his out. The flames in his eyes are hot. I've learned my lesson. Nothing and no one injures me twice. Huh? What's that? Blood? Smoke? The staff? What does that mean? There's nothing here. Anywhere. And since the attacker stepped on the beetle, the exit is now locked tight.
No. The stick has... I don't even know. Is that my hand? And my blood in the bowl? I've learned my le- Nothing. It's covered in my blood. It's covered because I'm too stupid to watch out in the dark. That's not a good... The Elmandin is mine. I won't sacrifice it under any circumstances. The flames in his eyes... No. No. That wasn't part. I don't much care. That's not a... The bandage is now soaked with blood. I've learned my nothing. Ah, oh, welcome, Sha. <gasps> what was that? Who are you? What are you doing in my head? Hello? You must touch me if you want to hear me, Sharizad. Are you a demon? To be honest, Sharizad, I have no idea. I can't remember. All at once, I was here, in the dark, chained fast, countless centuries ago. You're lying. Not at all. I've seen the rise and fall of every mote of dust in this chamber. It's only my own story that I don't know. Why do I hear you in my head? That comes from your blood, which you sacrificed to me. I've made a pact with a demon? Uh, forgive me. I should have warned you beforehand. Open that door. You can do that, can't you? I'm afraid not. N no. Then what can you do? I can light the braziers and extinguish them, and I can give orders to the Guardians. Awaken the Guardians and order them to tear down the gate. But then you'll run away and leave me behind. Many millennia will pass before another princess stumbles into the cave. You know who I am? Yes. I heard your talk outside the burial chamber. What would you say to another pact? I'll help you get out of the burial chamber. And you'll take me with you. Princess and court magician, mistress and servant. Together we'll conquer the world. Deal. What? Really? Who would be stupid enough to free a frightening creature like me so 
carelessly. I take what I can get. You frighten me. Light the torches. Let us do that together, Sharizard. Turn your bright eyes upon the darkness and concentrate. As long as you're touching me, you can speak to me, but you can also cast my spell. Behold the glories of my master's final resting place. By my ancestors. You're beautiful. So we have an agreement? Yes, 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 we do. Good. You're stuck. I have been hanging here for a very long time, after all. You'll need to loosen the bracket and pull me toward the sky with a strong jerk. Oh, you remember the sky? The sky. Freedom. The sparks and sounds of language. Some things one never forgets. No, this is... I won't get his... It's much too heavy for me to be able to move it. I can no longer find the crack. Hey! Help! I'm locked in here! Help! Rahwan! If you're still alive, show yourself! The Fakina doesn't seem to like you much, Princess. He's probably dead. Or he abandoned you. Hey! I'm locked. Hey! I'm. At one end, the magic staff. At the other, a heavy metal ball. Now what? Where does it go? That might work. If the ball wouldn't pull the staff into the abyss with it. There. I freed you. Now what? Now? I finally have legs. And I'm no longer alone. I meant how do we get out of here? We don't. Nobody can escape these walls. But you said... <laughs> oh, Sharizad, this is the darkest hole the likes of which the world has never known. Here, even nothingness means nothing at all. Not even the promise a piece of wood makes to one who is doomed. But let's be friends nonetheless. We could play with the light, or awaken the guardian, or... Even if you will not, I will abide by our agreement. I'll find a way out of here, and if you help me, I'll take you with me. Sarisad? And stop calling me Butterfly. I'm not a butterfly, and we're not friends. From now on, you'll do what I say. What if I won't? Then I'll toss you into an even deeper hole, where absolutely no one will ever find you again. As you command, mistress. You're too kind, mistress. That only works with...
will all the guardians be subject to my will from now on? The guardian's limbs have mercilessly crushed him. He's still holding the mask. And Harun's dagger. <sighs> You're still alive? Take the mask away from here. Calm yourself. Gather your strength. Mistress, don't you see? He's as good as dead. Have you no pity? Do you? <sighs> Where should I take the mask? To Draconia. To the prince. To the prince? What prince? Galved? Are you still there? He lies bleeding on the ground, and you pepper him with questions. You truly have no pity, do you? I do, but pity would not have changed anything. It would have made you more human. Says a talking staff. <laughs> 